okay? I hope you were not that stressed watching that clip just now and I know this creature is probably gloating all over the social media, whatever. Okay, we've got uh, the next segment coming up and um, unfortunately it's going to give you a little bit more stress because I lost something. Okay guys, now this is really exciting because we found a very, very interesting driving route that we're going to show you and uh, well we've tested it out and I think that this road is going to be perfect to show you uh, what a car can do but uh, we're going to take a short uh, drive. Um, dude, 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 where's my car? Um, um, I left it here. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I don't have my car. Uh, okay, you know what? My car is fitted with a tracker and we are going to go and find it. I'm going to find the person who stole my car. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Um, uh, uh, nak pergi cari kereta dulu? Boleh, boleh, okay, okay. Okay, so uh, we're on the way right now. Uh, we are on the road and... Uh, okay, so let me just recap what just happened. So I was um, going to take you out for uh, a drive but then um, um, and I borrowed my friend's car. But uh, I think the car got jacked. But luckily, uh, the car is installed with a tracker. So um, I've got the, um, the means in which I can really track the car down uh, using this phone which I have over here. Now, this uh, new tracker in the market, well, it's generally speaking, um, new in the market is called Katsana. Uh, it is uh, developed uh, and uh, brought in by a bunch of very enterprising uh, uh, Malay boys and uh, it seems like the product is very very uh, well thought of and it's very very advanced considering what the competition offers in the country and I am talking about competition inclusive of some of the better known brand better known brands out there. So Katsana is the name of the brand that we're looking at today and uh, well, we've got a Katsana tracker fitted into the car that has been um, stolen. So I've got my device over here uh, and at the moment I can access uh, the tracking surveillance system uh, via this phone using a normal browser. I can use this phone, I can use uh, an iPad, I can use my laptop, I can use pretty much anything that would allow me to get onto a web browser and I can see exactly what's going on uh, with this system. Now, let's just have a look. Now, the car that I'm driving is, um, well, the car that I was supposed to be taking you guys on the spin uh, in uh, is this WX9888 uh, Black uh, Proton Inspira. Now, uh, this car has been, again, as I said, been fitted with the Katsana Tracker. And um, using this interface over here, I can tell exactly where this car is going. The car is currently traveling at 12 kilometers an hour, uh, and it's alternating between zero kilometers an hour to 12 kilometers an hour. So I'm guessing uh, the crook who stole my car uh, is currently stuck in a traffic jam. Uh, no very clever crook now to say, eh? if you stole a car, then you go and put yourself in a traffic jam. But I, I guess, then again, he doesn't know that the car is fitted with the tracker. Uh, a Katsana tracker nonetheless. Now, what is the difference between a Katsana tracker uh, compared to a lot of the competitors out there? Number one, this tracking device updates the location of the car every 10 seconds. Now picture this, a lot of the competitors out there updates the location of the car every three minutes. Now within three minutes, you can get to anywhere you want, in, especially if you're in a city. The modus operandi of a lot of uh, car thefts out there is they will uh, first of all, if they are jacking your car and they are you know, putting it somewhere, uh, they are towing it away for example, they will disconnect the battery. Now, if the battery is disconnected, the user of the car or the owner of the car will get a notification. Now, how does it send an alert when the battery has been disconnected? Well, that's because the device itself stores enough power within its own internal batteries to last anything between four to six hours. The second scenario is they will drive your car somewhere very quickly and then they will immediately jump into the first underground uh, place where they can find where they will then be able to do things to the car. Uh, if they found a tracker in the car, they will remove it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the problem is 
within that three minutes, you can go into any of the... I mean, you know, we're in KL City Centre. Within three minutes, I can get to any of the basement uh, underground car parks out there in the city. Now, that's definitely not good. Now, with the Katsana Tracker, the window is only 10 seconds large. So that way, you, are be, you will be able to pinpoint the exact location of your vehicle much more accurately. For example, right now, this vehicle is travelling at 27 kilometres an hour uh, and he is along Jalan Tun Razak. He is moving north, so we are also moving north. Uh, we are currently, we moved off from uh, Bursa, Malaysia earlier, where my office is, and we're moving towards the north side of town uh, because it seems that this guy is moving north. Uh, and the fact that the location is being updated every 10 seconds really tells me, okay, he's currently in Jalan Tun Razak, so we're going to see uh, in the next couple of seconds where he's going to be. Um, He's now driving somewhere past Istana Budaya. I can imagine. I can even zoom into this map and I can know exactly. Yep, he's definitely driving somewhere towards uh, Istana Budaya. Uh, now, this is information that's good for me. Now, two things I can do with this information. I can either go and track this car myself or I can call the authorities and relay this information to the authorities and they can do what is right. But for now, let's just follow this car and see where as far, uh, how far we can go with tracking this car. This is intense, guys. Now, to find out if we manage to track the car down, tune in next week.